All right, we're back. The new day. Our mission is to find some find find some goats. There we go. I don't know. All right, so we've got divided loyalty. No, vice reformed. Go to the zealots' hideout. Go to the zealots' hideout. Actually. So I've heard that apparently you can get this guy as a follower, which is interesting, because why? New headphones are uh, slightly problematic. That's it. Is that it there? That's a zealot hider. We're going to really quickly round to that structure. All right, <clears throat> all right. Where are we going? <coughs> yeah, we're gonna we'll hit up those locations first. Um, I'm reading more into it, and like it's it's insane to me that like like I've been really enjoying this this expansion. Like I think it's awesome. Like, I think Bethesda did a really good job. I think, you know, it, it has its criticisms, like one of the big ones, like I've said a million times, and I will keep saying until Bethesda listens, is the ship parts and stuff. That being said, I don't really see, like, I don't know, I don't think they did, like, much wrong with it. I think it's really good. But people are so against it, and it's not even like they're against it, they're against people enjoying it, like, and that's like, come on now. Like, let people enjoy what they want to fucking enjoy. Regardless of if the game was crap or not crap people enjoy it let them fucking enjoy it also where the fuck are the two plants on this planet how have i not found them oh hello who the fuck are you oh <clears throat> hi guys ah there hello move no loitering fuck off all right we got something down there what is it what is it bad land oh oh that doesn't look Safe. I feel like at some point I'll probably do like a video because I feel like I mean my channel is quite small um, but part of me is like why is Bethesda not focusing on the ship parts you know is this are they just living here I'll let you guys, you guys can live there and enjoy your stay. It's, it, 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 it's a strange one to me, because, like, Fallout 4, they brought out the Settlement Builder, right? And I, I feel like it was quite a controversial thing. Because they opted, instead of having, like, like say, like, in Fallout, Fallout 3 or New Vegas, you had, like, all of these, like, pre-built settlements of friendly places. You were kind of limited in the settlements, like, you know, Diamond City was kind of the only and good name, or I think, or the only real, like, settlements. And then it's up to the kind of the player to, you know, like, to establish other ones. I enjoyed it, but regardless, like, they ended up, like, pumping out, like, content for the settlement builder, you know, constantly. Which, again really liked i thought was really cool but like the shipbuilder which i think everyone and their mother loves Perhaps and i have checked with everyone's mother uh, you need to text your mother by the way she's she's getting a bit annoyed but no it's just weird that they're not like pumping out like content for it you know hello spacers how you doing big boys Enemies are a lot tankier in this expansion. Ah, I got you. Um, took it. Is 
never necessarily the aim. I love how Andrea is like, yeah, not about profit. Meanwhile, she literally steals and sends me money. Well, crash ship key? Oh, hell yeah. What a guess. There. Oh my god. There's another crash ship key. Can I not? Okay. Excuse me, are you shooting me? My question is, why are you shooting me? Get. Get fucked, my. Alright, the channel miner for me. <clears throat> Hello there. Does the Maelstrom look like that? Oh, it can't. That was weird. It looked like kind of different. I really wish binoculars worked in this game. They kind of cool for immersive point. Ah, oh, it's a landing gear. Wait. No turret. Are you like them apples, boy? Just casually sitting hell? down while your entire crew got wasted. This is Sparta! Whoa. Calibrated zealot assault space. Black mark antiquities. Are they illegal in this system, I wonder? <clears throat> Up down, Luckily, there is something of value here. Oh. Um, is this really how I go out? I knew we should never have tried to strike out into unknown space like this. But the crew were ready to mutiny if we didn't try for it. Now we are slowly being pulled into an uncharted planet in the middle of a system, not anyone's charts. Well, anyone but the Varun, apparently. Warships appeared out of nowhere as soon as we arrived on the strange planet. We had no chance and they knew it. No communication, just open fired. Looked like the last minute maneuvering lost them, but our engines gave out right after. Now all we can do is wait for gravity to do its thing. Oh yeah, you dead. Oh, this is so fucking cool. There's another location. A bad an output. Oh. Something I was thinking to, though, to, um, is that uh, someone commented today uh, on the videos, and they were saying, like, the, um, that the only real thing that they have, like, an issue with with the expansion is, um, the lack of kind of unique weapons. And I do tend, I do agree. Need a moment. Yeah, Andre, shut, shut up. I have broken my leg, you may fix it. Uh, where is it in my life? Do I have any? Please tell me. They see. Perfect. To walk that off? Better be funny by telling me dislocated limb. What do you mean? To fix my dislocated limb. But they were sorry. They were basically saying that like there was no really uniques, and that's something I do tend to agree with. Like we've got in the base game, we've got a couple of uniques, but like to be honest. There's very few uniques that are like, holy crap, this is god tier. Like, if we look at, like, Fallout or Skyrim, for instance, right? Or Fallout or Scroll. Like, generally, you'll be rocking, like, like in Skyrim, there's so many good, like, unique weapons that are absolutely god tier. Cool. 
like are absolutely god tier whereas starfield is not really like it's kind of more so you're based on the random you know generated loot like the legendaries you draw that drop from enemies and i kind of wish bethesda would like do better at that sort of stuff like even like you've noticed how like as i play through this ooh, ruins it ruins out as i play through like the expansion and stuff like i tend to not open locked gear unless it's master and even then it's pointless because like all gear is random and I, I understand like it would be very it would be very tedious and time consuming to like predetermine also it would kind of ruin the gameplay loop replayability like you know having like predetermined loop but sometimes i feel like it would be nice you know like there's like let's say oh this like this chest that's like surrounded by spacers would have like a really cool gun or you know a really cool weapon or really cool armor you know just something like that so like i feel like because i remember like in fallout fallout new vegas and fallout 3 a lot of the cool uniques were kind of out in the middle of nowhere like you stumble across them in like a random be like a random shack and inside the shack there'd be like a dead guy with a key and the key would be like to a random safe like 20 miles down the road and it would have like the best fucking like assault rifle in the game you know like we don't we don't really get that with uh with Starfield, which is kind of fair you know i mean someone the thing is someone do a mod i know there's a mod for fallout fallout 4 that i always played with called unique unique that was a really cool mod it basically just like kind of improved upon the unique weapon and the thing is that was more like they were improving upon the uh how the weapons looked I think that was one thing like fallout fallout 4 went the route of having like more modular weapons as opposed to more weapons which i personally like i like being able to modify weapons and attachments but i'd rather like you know unique looking weapons Alright. Well, that's... Never sleep in that. That's creepy. Yeah, I know the... It also would be really, really cool. And again, I don't know if Bethesda do it. <clears throat> but it'd be, it'd be amazing if Bethesda were to, like... Whenever they brought out like new updates, they would like keep kind of buffing the game or keep updating. Like, like imagine like it's like, all right, next update, they like add stuff to the base game, but they also add stuff to the expansion, you know, like it'd be, it'd kind of be unheard of in a way, but it'd be kind of cool if, if yeah, if they just like did something like that. Look, is that that looks creepy? Okay, we'll go there in a minute. If we are found, the zealots will not negotiate. They deserve whatever punishment we see fit to administer. Uh -huh. Yeah, whatever you say, Andreja, whatever you say, we'll kill them all. Let God sort them out. Hello. <clears throat> See, but I think regardless of even if it has to keep kept updating the game, like people, sadly, Starfield has the same kind of moniker um, as Fallout 76 to the the kind of the non-player base, where no matter what they do, it will always be like, oh, you know, it should have been there at launch. Oh, sh should have been. Oh, yeah, you know, and it's like some of it I get, you know, but at the same time, it's like. Sometimes you just have to accept that the game came out the way it did. You didn't like it, that's fine. Other people did. Just go with it, you know? Alright, anyway. Oh. Right? I need to keep... Uh, no. Caves like there. this can be an excellent way to conceal the presence of an illegal operation. I should know. 
Hello? Fuck the great serpent. Oh fuck the mining lasers? Never seen an enemy with a mining laser. That's kind of cool. That's really funny. The mining Hello. Hi there. Oh, yeah. Always worth checking. I don't know what you might find in your pockets. Ping. Alright, we can go over this. Cool. Go around. This gun is really powerful. They yeah, have really messed with the mag storms just because the like rifle burns through ammo and the still is quite good. I hate the uh, the sniper. Oops, someone's using a mini gun with or magstorm with depleted uranium rounds. Yep. Ah. <clears throat> right, hello there, is that it? What you're mining for here? Yeah. I'm gonna assume that we can't get through that door. Oh. 
Maybe this is part of a quest. Left. Twice I can't believe I forgot how to swap. More than I forgot how to swap. These zealots believe that the great serpent will shield them. You know, honestly, Andresia, I'm gonna be honest with you, Squall Time. Um. The more I play this, the more I'm like, these fucking house for crazy bastards. That ship is still. still completely broken. I don't think it's meant to be there. Depot. Um. <clears throat> I still need to find more redeemed for one of the achievements. I need to get like ten of them. I think where I would find them. Maybe. Imagine having a boost pack in Skyrim. Like navigating those goddamn mountains so easy. A monastery? Oh, let's hit that up and finish. This is the place. Are you ready? I was born ready. I'm ready. Let's do it. One thing. Kozlov will want to talk before he tries to kill us. He has always been theatrical. Like a predator playing with its food. Do not listen to his lies. Roger, the time has come. Let us spill some blood. There we go. Hello there, Great Serpent. I am new. It's best not to leave anything useful behind. Walt, can I open it? I'm not open this one until you fix the damn thing. There's nothing. Hi there! We're here to exterminate everybody! That's not a window. Okay, that was nice. Fucker shoot me like through multiple. Hello. Howdy. I'm not trying to evade you guys, I'm trying to kill you, this is different. <laughs>
here doesn't work. Okay. Hello. Your death. Cover me. Here for your doom. Burahim! Oh, how great of you to visit. It has been far, far too long. And this accursed is. What is this? Your friend? Pet? We come bringing death, Kozlov. Your time is up. Great serpents. Thanks. Are you not happy to see me? We were practically brothers just a few months ago. So rude. So accursed. You and Orahim. You've slaughtered my brethren in the name of what exactly? Enough, Kozlov. You will speak to me only. Who? It seems to me that Orahim is afraid of what I may say. Terrified. Petrified of me revealing his true nature to you, accursed. I am sure he went on and on about how evil I am. How it was I that forced him to commit horrible atrocities, whatever those may be. All of it merely a deflection. Orahim was the most brutal out of all of us. He had a lust for blood that was legendary. Okay. Oh, I wish you could have seen him in his prime. Or he has been upfront about his past. Oh, I never knew honesty to be one of Orahim's virtues. I remember many times he would lie to win over the trust of an accursed before stabbing them in the back. Literally. So he has told you everything. Including the incident where he immolated the crew of a hauler one by one? Or what of the time he... Enough! I need no reminders of what I have done. I relive those scenes every day. I see ghosts every night. I am cursed. The past cannot be changed. But your death... Kozlov will serve as some small penance. Ooh, poor Orahim. Oh, boo hoo. It seems having a conscience is such a heavy burden. This is all quite pathetic, really. I can't forgive your betrayal, but what I cannot abide is your stinking hypocrisy. You deliver death to my doorstep. And then speak to me of righteousness? This is heresy, damn it! I kill a cursed in the great serpent's name to feed the corpses of unbelievers to him. And I love it. I love it. I know what I am, what I kill for. But you, you are trying to be something you are not. A hero. And you decide to start your new life with yet more acts of violence against the very same that once adored you, no less? Against the true House Varun? You have not changed at all. Death is all you know, only now it seems everyone's a target. When did you become so pathetic? We used to idolize you. Now you are just... So boring. 
Listen now, accursed. You are Orahim's friend, so it falls on you to show him mercy. A poor fool. Oh, great serpent, he is so tortured. He wants so badly to forget what he's done, to live amongst those he has killed by the ship for a few months ago. Why not put him out of his misery? <laughs> Whatever he is paying you for this charade, I will provide even greater compensation. Do not try it. We have come too far to turn on Orahim now. Yep, yeah, I agree, Andreja. Orahim's changed. He's not the person you knew. It's not my... It's not my place to judge someone for their past. I've done plenty I'm not proud of. Orahim's changed. He's not the person you knew. Oh, for the love of how would you know that? You know Orahim for a few moments. And already you know more of his character than the ones who've spent nice their whole sandwich. lives with him? <sighs> this is no longer amusing. You've come to take my life, so let us finally have some fun, shall we? Nice come to... now! The great serpent shall feast upon your bleeding, broken corpses! Fuck the great serpent! <laughs> Do they have anything Die, cast loud. And what do you have back here? Give me a second. I need to loot. Ooh. Hello. All right. Nice. I would like a weapon. I do. I'm not. How's the cape suit? Oh, that's cool. Um. What of ammo here? Oh Jesus fucking Christ! Drizzy, don't do that. All right, Orahim. What did what do we do? What's the play? Who we kill it next? The door here. Good. Good, Orahim. Oh, you you good? Finally, it is done. With Koslov dead, the people of Dazra should finally see that I am a zealot no more. My ties to that life have been well and truly severed. I promised you payment. Here, take this. It is a key to a deposit in my shack. It is yours. All of it. Good luck, Orahim. Thank you. Really, thank you for everything. Go on now. I will stay here for a time to think and meditate. Hopefully, I will see you in Dazra. Can I talk to him again? Never thought I would see what is past the city gates. Goodbye. Cool, so let's go take his loot. So I kind of wish we could have had him as a follower because he's pretty cool. But, alas. Let's... It's that monster. I'm surprised though Bethesda didn't give us like like if we I mean in hindsight like if we go the whole like serpent route you know be a good good little serpent crusader person you know you end up dying but I kind of wish you wouldn't die and then in turn I wish there was like a follower he had that was like like full-blown serpents crusade sort of person you know all right that's it There's a monastery. The walk to the walkers.
where did the Jedi live? Oh. With the great, when the great serpent speaks, you must pray to listen. But if you not been seeking his signs, you will not be ready for it. Interesting. This is a thousand steps. This is actually really Oh, it's fucking zealots. It's always fucking zealots. Oh, whoops. Ash, zealots. Hold on. This place looks so cool. Hi. Hello there. Goodbye there. Solar flare with the air. Solar flare. Solar flare. Oh, cool. Alright, what does the second one say? Uh, in order to do what we must, we need to be able to understand him. In order to understand him, we must go and seek him. Fucking anybody. Probably. All right. This is what this part two. And apparently, we can You're go. Not walking out of here. Where? Oh, there's some down there down there what is down there this fall oh my god oh my god
is this all that's here? Why so? an area up top. How do I get up to it? Um. Oh no. Okay, we gotta go look. I don't want to just like cheat by fucking blasting my way up. Over here, well, not bad. Here. Path of Wisdom Three, you. You fret that you cannot see him, even though your eyes are open, but your eyes are not the only way to see him. Oh, you can smell him. Interesting. Oh. He's so fucking cool. Oh. Hello. Cool guns. With you in a minute, I'm looking around. Down to eat some, uh, some grilled pie. Really? You don't need your eyes to see the great serpent, didn't you read? Winner takes all these stiff rays, is it not? Uh, yeah. Okay. Still in that. Hello? Always like this gun. I mean, it, it's it's personal weird. It's OP as hell, but messages. What do you think of the Herald's last sermon? I tried to follow him, but I struggled to understand what he says. Can you make sense of any of it? 
Uh, the Herald is merely a conduit to best receive the Great Serpent's teaching. You must exercise patience. Know that the answer will lie within our grasp, even if it is just out of reach for now. His arrival is imminent. Let a calmness wash over you as you become ready for his splendor. Listen to the Herald. Let him guide you to better understand your devotion. May the glory of the cosmos motivate you to prepare and work. Come on, Fanatican. I suppose. Big fan of the architecture. Stand before the Great Serpent as he resumes his role in the cosmos. Will you be capable and sufficient for his needs, or disposable and in our way? Do not waste your time on Faroonkai when you have your mind and body to hone for the coming war. Think daily of his arrival and these tasks will seem frivolous. You will become true and devoted. The Great Serpent is great. You cannot fathom his power, and yet we will witness it soon. We must prepare for eternity so that our victory will be endless. Attack them with a storm of vengeance and dispel those who will oppose his will. When the Great Serpent speaks, you must be ready to listen, but if you have not been seeing his signs, you will not be ready to hear him. In order to do what we must, we must be able to understand him. In order to understand him, to do his bidding, we must be willing. You worry that you cannot see him through, though your eyes are open, but listen to his teaching. You will not need to see his beam. You say that you cannot hear him that your eyes are open this is not a problem with your eyes but with your under i mean plus you don't hear with your eyes what do your eyes have to oh, okay fair enough <laughs> what do your eyes have to do with listening you must go forward without doubt and path before you will become unobscured unwinding as he reveals his secrets uh, restock package food goes a bulk shipment grilled meat vegetables new high-end rifles Additional books for enrichment. I would love to expand our exercise equipment. Lounge chairs. To do. Sweep the plaza and polish benches. Rotate beverage inventory. Restock ammo and targets. Repair antennas at lookout posts. Routinely check on safety rails. Clear the rubble. Clear rifle barrel. Alright. Do anything of value in Alright, like, I, I hate to break the bus, man, but, like, you telling me I came in here? Just to get some heretical writings and some tissues. Give me the tissues. Kind of, I don't know. Kind of wish it was like an outfit. I'll be like, I am the great sermon, or I am the the hurdle. Hurdle? What's his name? Let's check the other location. What is this? What's the kitchen? Ooh. Over there. Hi there. Andresia, help me! <laughs> Don't need eyes to see the Great Serpent. God, does anyone read these books? Please.
Alright. What ammunition? Alright, let me read the last ammunition. Was there no fourth one? Interesting. I don't want to pull four of them, but apparently. Okay. Let's head over there and see what that is. We really should have brought the car. This is a really cool location, though. Let's, let's we'll wait for them. Alright. Let's head off on our journey. Oh fuck. Alright, we're good. <clears throat> I'm a professional. I'm getting up there. I will say like Bethesda killed it with this location, it's amazing. Like the different little POIs scattered around that have like little storyline and quests. So so cool. Although I see, I've seen a couple of comments and some people have been saying apparently people were expecting like Starfield to like this expansion to kind of overhaul the base game like in Cyberpunk and No Man's Sky but like no disrespect but both of those games came out as shit shows like Starfield was fine you know like it had some bugs but the, but the game was there you know it's weird like people are... I mean I suppose you know we expect Like, can we learn more about that? I want to... Azure security. Security. Where are we? Oh my. We've yet to find these goddamn pants. Where the find? What is that? Cur oh, a courier center. Oh. Yes, I am the courier. Courier six, to be exact. I got shot in the head again and woke up in a different universe. I'm, uh, I'm here. Go up on top. Hello. Here. Really, no one here. Random. Oh. What's that over there? Worm filtration farm. They did like an amazing job. Is that one of the plants? Oh, there's one of the plants. Hello, growths. Hello. Three 
There's one of them. I find it kind of funny that like some of the phantoms, I'm assuming it's because like they're legendary, the game just bugs slightly. Stop fucking teleporting! Texas, are these meant to be these like soldiers? See, I, I still don't like kind of understand that. Are they like. I like turn off something. Important wall treatment. To our valuable team, due to the factors outside of our control, um, no longer viable for us to continue producing warm spring water. The cost incurred running this remote facility in Delivering City has become too much of business. We greatly appreciate your service. Please vacate the facility. Oh, that's. Earths. The dog was friendly. Oh. Fucking, that's not fair. You can't fucking do that. Or you have teleport powers. Minute, minute. No, don't you fucking run through that. I really like the new armor. Oh, so, chameleon deep. Stop fucking teleporting. And I didn't need those legs. Um. I think I have a boost pack. Do I have the zealot helmet? Let's head back to the ship. I need to store. Back to the ship. To the Corvette. We're gonna store some stuff. There go home. Store a lot of stuff. In So much stuff. So 
We'll explore that. Do I have, um, oh my god, I've got so much stuff. Are we going to call it here and uh, we'll be back in the next episode?